Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to download and then unzip. Another word is extract uh, and then upload designs to Cricut Design Space. It's a very simple process and an important one to know how to do. Uh, before we get started, go ahead and subscribe now if you have not already. Coming out new videos once every four or five days. Just a lot of ways to make you a better designer, whether that be in Cricut Design Space or externally and programs like Inkscape that will, you know, help you bridge some of those design gaps that Design Space has. Also, join me on Facebook. We have a fantastic group. It's about 125,000 members at this point. It's called Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. Super helpful, friendly, just a great group, knowledgeable. And I'll link that in the description as well. So let's get started. Turn my grid on. Uh, so I'm going to go over to Design Bundles. Um, they have a fantastic free section. I'll link that in the description as well. Tons and tons and tons of um, just every type of design you can imagine. Um, and they, they all include a commercial use license. So that's nice too. Um, free. So... I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click download free now. And you can see that it came up down here. You can also find anytime you download something until you move it in Windows 10, it's going to be in your downloads folder. Now I am doing this today on um, a Windows PC. I will also link in the description how to extract on um, a Mac, uh, iOS, as well as Android. So you can see that it downloaded here. Okay. So now we can back up one step to our downloads folder. And you can see how the folder has a zipper on it. Very, very simple. Right click, extract all, extract, and that's it. So now you can see that you have a, you can see that you have a zipped folder here and you have an unzipped folder here. You can get rid of that zipped folder. You no longer need that. And now you just have your unzipped folder. And now to open this in Cricut Design Space, very easy. Go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and there it is. Click it to open it. You want this bottom one here, not the one that says Mac, bottom one here. And then you're going to want the SVG anytime you're dealing with a cut file. You want the SVG. It will sometimes also be called, see this one is called Chrome HTML. That is the SVG. So double click that. And that's all there is to it. Super simple. Save, click it, insert image. And that's it. That's literally all there is to it. So if you have any questions at all, you can um, ask them in the uh, on on the uh, video and the question and answer part of the video, um, or you can ask them in the group. Like I said, make sure you join us. They're a super great group. So that's it. Have a great day. Bye.